Hey everyone, it's RF Tech Guy here, and today I wanted to talk to you about how you open up a STL file on uh, the Dremel 3D Slicer. Um, the Dremel 3D is uh, 3D printer is actually pretty awesome. Uh, it, the first time I ever used a 3D printer was the Dremel 3D. It was uh, very simple to to use. I was able to figure it out. Uh, first time I ever 3D printed anything was on that thing, and I was able to figure it out within uh, 30 minutes. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you just got to download the 3D slicer onto your computer and you can adjust it uh, pretty much the way you want it to be. So this is the the RF Tech Guy wrench. Now the words didn't come out and uh, I could have probably uh, fixed up the definition a little bit. Alright, so now we're going to open up the um, RF Tech Guy wrench. There it is, we're gonna click on this. We're gonna lay it down at 90 degrees. Now, this is like the third time I'm trying to record this because uh, apparently I'm having trouble with my, uh, <laughs> if I try to, um, I'm, I'm running dual screen here and if I try to run it on my second screen, I, uh, for something the Dremel, for some reason the Dremel software does not wanna work. Well, we definitely don't want this at 0%. I would say, I like 50% because it's strong enough. But then again, we're not using this Dremel. I'm still going to leave it at 50. We're going to go here. We're going to rotate. We're going to grab the red and flip it to 90 degrees. Right there. All right. Now you can uh, you can click the support material to not generate support material which in some cases uh, the support material ends up being problematic and it leaves a lot for you to work with. Uh, but in this case, if we don't have the support material, you see how this is hanging over? This will uh, this will start to droop down and that'll end up being a problem. The Dremel 3D printer is pretty awesome. You just connect it. It's pretty easy to level out and uh, it's actually really simple to just start printing or right when you get the 3D printer. So if you want to see what the support material looks like, uh, I have a little video clip of that as well. So after you uh, after you got your product the way you want it to print, your part the way you want it to print, um, you just click on prepare and start slicing. And now we're going to save the file. And that's it. And then from there, you could just transfer it over to your flash drive, put it on the, on the 3D printer, but I believe this one also comes with a Wi-Fi option. So that's about all the time I have for today. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell, and I'll see you guys next time. So yeah, as you can see, I built a bridge for itself. Because uh, I accidentally printed this thing at an angle. Uh, I got to find a way to uh, change the view on the, on the Dremel thing, or just maybe pay more attention to uh, how many degrees it is laying, uh, the angle is. So, uh, I don't know. We're learning. This is my first time uh, actually attempting to print my own stuff from SolidWorks, transferring it over to the Dremel file, 